here live at the People's Tiny House Festival with James and Separate USA. Hi, Emily. Everyone wants to know about the toilet in the tiny house. It's a, everyone gets a little squeamish, but your toilet specifically, you don't have to be squeamish because you never have to touch anything. Tell us a little bit about Separate. It does make it much easier, and you know, it is one of those things. You need one. So, might as well have a really good one. <laughs> the separate uh, toilet is made in Sweden. We've been making these, or they've been being made in Sweden since the 70s. Wow. Okay, Scandinavia is so much more involved in alternative toilets, alternative living styles, etc. And there, everybody has a vacation house and nobody has a septic field in it. They don't want to waste the land. And that basically is where we come from, both the water savings and not using the land for our sewage system. Right. Okay, we're still using sewage systems that are from the Romans, basically. Right, right. Okay, that was a long time ago. So here's how the separate works. It's referred to as a composting toilet, although we don't actually compost the material in the toilet. It's a urine diverting toilet. And what happens is when, can you see inside? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you open the top, you look inside, this is what you see, okay? nothing unsightly. When you sit down on the seat, the back section opens and solid waste goes to the back, liquid waste goes to the front. The liquid waste plums into a tube that comes out through the back of the toilet. Get beyond there, it's going to plumb out right through here into a drain that's going to go into either the gray water system or into a leaching bed. Okay. So if you're in a permanent location, leaching bed. If you're mobile, it's going to go in with your sink and your shower runoff and all of the gray water. The solid waste is going into a holding chamber that has a compostable liner in it. And there is a fan that is mounted up in the back of the toilet here, which is continually running when there's solid waste in it, drying out that material and taking out any odor. So within the comp within the holding area, only the solid waste and paper go in. We don't have to add anything else. We're not adding any mold or chips or anything else to it, which does two things. One, it decreases the volume of waste that needs to be dealt with, and it gives you more options on how you deal with the waste when it comes out. Sort of the down and dirty on solid waste is that it takes about six months for human pathogens to go benign in fecal matter. Unless you're heating them over about 160 or 165 degrees. There aren't any composting toilets that do that. So even if, if we've got a composting toilet that we're mixing other materials in, when that material comes out, it has to go to your compost area anyway. So our feeling is, why deal with the mess of composting or trying to compost in the toilet in the interim, just deal with it in the most convenient way to deal with it. And that is, when we open this this section here, oh, and for our shows, we always put brownies oh, like the <laughs> So, <laughs> visuals. Like oh, I'm good, thank you, okay. visuals. <laughs> so, at the point when, after about three weeks or so of full-time use, we have just solid waste okay. and paper, mm -hmm. which is then, because of the fan in the back, continually drying out, awesome. okay? We're adding fresh material to it, so it's never completely dry, but it's right. drying. Right. And my best analogy is kind of like when you take your dog in the backyard, it naturally separates the liquid and the solid. Mm -hmm. A day later, you can go pick that up after it's been in the sun and the air with a paper yes. towel and throw it away. Same type of concept here. That is drying out. All we do is take this compostable liner, take it out, tie it off, Cool. Take it out to the compost area. Excellent. So it's as easy to empty as taking out the kitchen trash. If you're like an Airbnb location, that you really don't want a composting toilet that has waste from your previous guests in it, it's a great system mm -hmm. because it can be used for the weekend. The liner can come out, go in the compost area. You've got a completely clean toilet for your next guest to use. Excellent. Now, so the air has been going up over it. The second thing that happens when we are pushing down on the seat is that this bucket rotates a little bit every time we sit on the Oh, floor. wow. So we get even distribution of brownies throughout the whole <laughs> storage area. Excellent. Okay? So it gives you good alternatives in terms of when you bag out. 
It can go in the compost. It can go in an approved solid waste disposal area if you're mobile, like an RV park. Mm -hmm. Or it can go into an incinerator. Oh. So there's many different options for it. Excellent. When you look at the toilet, it looks like a regular toilet. Right. So a big part of people using new ideas is having them similar to what they're used to. Right. When somebody goes to use it, they just use it exactly like they use a regular toilet. Mm. You just sit down and go. Right. You don't have to think about what am I going to do when or anything like that. Right. You just sit down, you go, your, your instruction to your guests is just don't flush. Right. Or it'll be <laughs> in the water closet for hours. <laughs> but anyway, it's a good straightforward system. For more information, you can find us at separate dashusa.com. Thank you so much for all this amazing info and enjoy the festival. Good chatting with you.